everyone, I have another project to share with you guys. I am so excited to be um, really back into crafting. Lately, I had taken such a long time where I was not crafting that much. And so this is really fun. I did this one here for a class over at Creating the Crafty Life. And it was done for last month. And I've just been so busy that it has taken me this long to make a video and get everything posted. So, um... If you want to watch the start to finish of this project here, um, it's there's a couple things that were a little extra after the video, and that would be the frames and the little sentiment here. Um, you can head on over to um, Ustream. I'll actually have the links to the videos in the description box below. I believe it's either one or there was two because we might have had a disconnection, but um, it was it was about a two hour class I think, so it wasn't too hateful. Um, and you can fast forward and everything, but this is a wooden, fr I started off with the, just, just wooden frame, um, from um, Michael's, it's like a one dollar wooden frame and it does a four by six photo, and I, this is the frames I always alter, um, I don't even mess around altering other frames, I love this one, it does not come with any glass or any protective material in the center, however you could easily add that if you had, um, like vellum, or not a vellum, acetate. Um, if you had some acetate you could um, cut and put in there that would be good. Um, they are only a dollar and they're wood so they paint real easily. You can add paper to them real easily and you can stencil on them and, and all that sorts of things. So um, I started off with this really pretty paper but I ended up spraying and painting and covering it up so you couldn't see it but it was this pattern here that's in the center, and I believe this is by Kane Company. It's a really old line, so I don't remember what it is. But um, that's what I used um, to cover the frame. The frame is just painted in, um, I painted it in white, and then I had gone over it with just a um, brush dipped in um, some sprays, or some, um, some green, my mojito green, and just kind of just lightly brushed over it. And so what I started off with is I did some stenciling, and first I stenciled um, this one, which is new to my shop, and it's by the Crafters Workshop. It is called Mini Birds on a, I'm not sure what that says. Oh, Mini Birds of a Feather, that's what it says. Um, and it, this is really, really pretty. I just, I love this. And it has this really pretty um, branch right here. And what I did was I actually had it flipped over, and I did the branches up here. Oops, helps you can see the whole thing. And then the bird cage is down here, and you can see it better in my pictures. But let's see, I don't know if I can kind of get you to see. You can sort of see the um, bird cage back here, and then you can see that the branches are intertwined with the candy gem spray. And so um, I did that, and then I used a lot of different flowers. I used. Um, gardenias and some, um, I think those are um, trellis roses, and then I have, or tea rose I think, I can never remember which is which, and then I have um, some sweetheart blossoms, and then I also have um, the little paste calla lilies, and then I have the candy gem sprays that go down um, this side and this side, and then I have some of the little mini roses on there, and then over here on this side, I have the large gardenia, and then I do have a um, a little daisy flower, some more um, roses and um, blossoms, and then I have this um, cute little um, vintage lady cameo, and I did not spray that, it actually came like that and happened to match. And then I have, this is leftover from a previous project, and these are the little... Um, acrylic flower sprays by Recollections and I painted it and gessoed it and everything and then um, I've got some trim that goes all the way around that's from my stash and it and it has little pearls that come off of it and then I have some of this um, oh what is that lace I can't remember the lace it's from my shop and I believe I'm out of stock of it it's um, the Chelsea lace the pale blue, blue Chelsea lace and then I have some of the flat back um, daisy trim right here. Told you guys I use that a lot. I love that trim. And then um, 
I did two of the cameo frames here. I thought that was really cute and that also gave me extra spots to put photos in. And the this is the um the rose frame and then this is the gothic frame. And so I what I did is I worked with let's find the colors here. I worked with the My Mojito Green. I worked with the the open amethyst, open arms amethyst which is a very deep and dark purple and then um, I did I had a peach color where did that go um, where is it there it is a fuzzy navel peach now I know these are colors that kind of remind me of Halloween but um, what happened is um, my I was talking to my mom before I started the class and told her that this is what I was gonna do and then she, she's been asking me to make her a project. So I said, well, how about I make you, I do the frame for you. I give her the frame. And so she wanted me to do purple and peach. And I don't ever use purple when I craft. It's just not one of the colors. It's a very pretty color. I like the color purple. It's just not a color I craft with. <clears throat> so, especially with peach. So when I was in the class and I was spraying it, and you'll see in the class that it looked a lot more Halloween-y because the peach came out very, like, orangey and, and not so much the light peach color. And so I ended up having to spray a little bit of the cotton candy pink just to uh, lighten up some of that orange. Well, I just was not having a good time with the cotton candy pink and then the fuzzy navel peach. The pink was too pink, and I was like, uh-oh, because my mom wanted peach, not, you know, pink. But it turned out more pink, and I tried gessoing and everything, you know, painting it with gesso. And it just kept getting more pink the more I tried to fix it. So I just left it. So it's kind of the little areas of peach and little areas of pink. And then you have the purple and the, um, the green. Um, now this part here in the background, it came out very um, dark. So I ended up painting it, and then I just took my brush, and I dipped it in the colors, and I kind of just painted the the background of the frame with just a paintbrush in my um, and which came out good it blended against purples and greens and it was really pretty and so um, I could you know that's kind of what the flowers are sprayed with they have um, I did um, the peach on the inside and then I did went around with the purple and then on the very edge I did the green so you can really see it on the flowers you can see the 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 pink or peach and then the purple and then the green and then the same thing I did over on this side and so I really liked the way the frame came out it was um I really really liked it and I put the word love because I'm going to put pictures of my family it's going to be my daughter and then me and my husband and so I did sentiment love I don't remember um I think it was for like a one of my dollar stamps that got the word love from and then I just um, just cut it out with just some plain cardstock and distressed it. And it does sit up kind of high, so I actually took like a little um, little pop dot and then a little wood um, like foot piece, and that's how I got it to stand up because it also um, is glued onto the frame, just the way the frame sits. But I really like the way it came out. Um, I hope you guys liked it too. Oh, um. Oh, I knew there was one thing I forgot. The inks that I used. I used the Distress Walnut Stain for the outside. And then I used the Sweet Plum by uh, Memento. Because it's a, like, matches perfectly. And that's what I colored the, the acrylic spray with. Because I just didn't want it to be super glittery. So that's, I just went over the all the acrylic pieces with that. And then um, I did, um do the little um, like whitewashing with uh, the gesso at the end. So I hope you guys like that. I hope you can see all the little little patterns. And there's a little bit down there. So it was really fun and really easy to do. So I hope you guys um, like that. And please check out the class if you want to see the full um, start to finish. And I'll have photos at the end. And then I'll also have um, this whole project will be on my blog, mbstreasurista.blogspot.com, and it'll have more photos, a list of products I used. Um, I'll have the link to MB Treasurista below if you want to get any of these products. Um, 
I have a link to Creating the Crafty Life. So you can check us out. We have classes um, once a month. And we have tons of other swaps and crops and um, all kinds of other things that we do. Giveaways and all kinds of stuff. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.